Well, hello everybody, Mr. O here, and today we are gonna talk about the Dummy 13 Mannequins. Uh, so let me explain what they are and what I mean by mannequin. I'm gonna move this over for just a second. So we're used to these wooden mannequins, and uh, one of the limitations of wooden mannequins is the articulation. You have to follow some rules or you'll over crank and you, they'll break them. And then came out these uh, Figma figures and they had uh, male or female poses and you can switch the hands out. But unlike um, like a lot of things, I don't know if the proportions were always correct on them. And myself, I've broken many hands trying to switch them out. So somebody came up with a, a nice idea of printing 3D uh, mannequins of articulations very similar and they are amazing and this one has the holes in back and the reason they're called dummy 13s is because you can see a 13 on the front not on this one uh, it's probably blending in there but a lot of them have dummy 13s now I'm gonna show you some that don't have it. And what's nice, just like the Figma figures, they can hold weapons, you can switch their hands out, but look how easy that is. Everything clicks. And what's also nice about them is, doesn't matter which figure you have, whether you're drawing male or female, the figure works for uh, all genders. And, um, and, and when you're first drawing, you wanna learn shapes and you can just start drawing the shapes of the Figma figure. Um, when you are using them, just realize since it is 3D printed, things will pop off and you wanna be careful. I'm gonna talk about that uh, in a minute when I pull out one of the uh, cheaper versions of these. And like I said, these are printed on a 3D printer and they've turned out so well. I've put so many of these together, I could I literally, you just hand them to me and I can put it right together. What's also pretty amazing is they've started doing animals. I do have a uh, giant cat one. This is a wolf or a dog, depending on uh, which head you use, and you can pose these figures. Um, in my classroom, uh, my students are gonna be able to grab a bag, and what I did, uh, yes, I did a Timu thing. I bought them for a buck a piece, so they don't have that 13 on front. Um, and I also just bought a bunch of stands. Now, since these aren't the real dummy 13s, they don't have the holes in the back and they're a little looser. They're more likely going to break, but as long as the students pose them carefully, um, they can just take the stand and use the claw any way they want and just put the figure right in there. So, one of the drawbacks, and I'm gonna just get to this right now, is with all the articulation that you have on your figure, is everyone wants to do action poses. What's really nice about a wooden mannequin, and you can still do them on, the, uh, on these action figures, um, is people are more relaxed. People aren't in poses ready to kick, they're standing. Um, they're a little off center and you can do a good job. I'm gonna just take this out here for a second and I'm gonna just use this one. And you can actually relax the figure. So if I'm just gonna pose, I can just put a little tilt, maybe a little bend to the knee, relax the toes. And just like this figure that has all, uh, like the toes bend, this, this has toes that bend too. And if you over crank on any of these figures, you push down too hard, you're gonna pop the leg off and stuff like that. So be careful. Um, probably repeating myself now. And you can just relax the figure and just draw a regular person. And like, like what I'm doing in my classroom, everyone's gonna get a Ziploc bag that has a stand and a figure. And that way if something pops off or something, they can keep those pieces in the bag and, and I can repair them. Um, and uh, this is the first year I'm gonna issue a figure um, during a project and to use these dummy 13s. Um, I do think highly of these dummy 13s. There's other kinds that, have, that are more boxy. And in a video that you're gonna, you can go refer to is with the wooden mannequins, 
just the same thing. You're gonna just start drawing the shapes that you see. And what's really nice is you can just break it down even more. You're just drawing the shapes and, and you're just sketching. Be loose with it. Um, and don't worry about being perfect. And uh, we're trying to get proportions is when you use a mannequin. And when you do poses and stuff like that, you can, um, you know, just create the, the idea of how somebody is standing, how somebody is even sitting. You know, whether their, their legs are up and they're just relax, um, whether they're um, whatever pose you want. Now, naturally, when you're dealing with a five, six inch figure, it's always hard. So one of the, my next goals is to get stands so that so these are closer to eye level. When students draw, they're gonna have to realize they're gonna have to lower their eye level down at times and go back up to, to sketch it out or prop it up some way, somehow. Um, the other thing, um, they'll notice I won't be giving them the weapons that come with it or the hands because it's easy to obsess. I gotta have this weapon. If you don't know how to draw figures, drawing ones holding weapons, um, and changing their hands, you can spend more time changing things than actually drawing. We're gonna just do practice and that's what I recommend to all of you also. Um, and then finally, if you get advanced enough in using these, in digital art, these figures are amazing. So if I'm going to pose two of these together and um, uh, let's just, we're doing a hug or a dance. I'm going to bend that here, maybe coming in for a kiss. Um, and I can take a photograph and you, like, if you have bought some of these figures, you know it comes with like this grid and you use the grid to help you. So I can take a photograph, take it to my digital computer and I can start using it as a reference. Remember, these dummy 13s are mannequins, they're references, um, and they can help guide you. The drawback is don't just trace, like if you do digital, don't just trace it because they're all the same height. It's, it's better if you kind of, you know, have different heights to your characters, to your people. You know, I, I'm about five inches taller than my wife, um, so, yeah me using two dummy 13s to make a pose to get the shape, it won't totally help me. Um, I still need to learn proportions and then evolve from drawing the shapes into drawing real people. And like I said, refer to the um, mannequin video to kind of show you how I, I did that so I'm not repeating myself. Guys, I hope that answers what a dummy 13 is. Um, I find them great. Um, just be careful. There's generics out there. Don't overpay for them. Like I said, the generic, I, I didn't know they were generics, but that's why I paid a dollar a piece for them because they weren't uh, the real thing. And you don't need to spend 10 bucks a piece. Like I said, you can find them on Timu for like three bucks, um, the quality ones. And uh, just be careful. Uh, Amazon, they're like $10. So, and maybe if you have your own 3D printer, you can print your own. So most importantly, you are amazing. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>